What's up everybody, George from Sac City Auto Parts. Uh, just got to the shop, and this time around we are headed to Formula Drift, New Jersey. So I'm going to get some merch ready, I'm gonna get packed up, I'm flying out at midnight. Let's go ahead and go inside the shop and get started. So this is a little sneak peek right now. I'm not sure if this video will come out before uh, the Formula Drift video, but if it does, you guys just saw a sneak peek. That's the 240 we've been working on and getting it built. Uh, it has the 1JZ in it. It has the black wrap we just did, the rays. Um, just put this eBay front lip on. Look how good it looks. There's one thing a lot of people don't know is that we've actually been open for about 10 years. I started Sac City when I was 22 years old uh, in a small 1500 square foot shop all by myself, not really knowing anything about business or even the whole uh, wrecking yard game slash even the auto parts game. Um, so I started from scratch. I dropped out of school, Sac State and started the business at 22. Almost 10 years down the road, it's coming up to our 10 year anniversary. So I thought, why not shoot this vlog in a fun format and actually tell you guys the story of Sac City. So all of the stuff that we're probably going to be doing on our merch giveaway and for the uh, 370C Nismo we said we're going to give away on our Instagram, if you haven't seen that, is all going to be made in-house. Now it's time to get these shirts and myself overnighted to New Jersey and head over there. One of the reasons why I like Jersey the most is that they run Pro Down, Bro Down. Uh, it's ran by Club Boots. Crazy. Let me show you guys what it's all about. Nobody's laying it down like Sean. I'm not lying. You give him a track to not have to compete on, but to just throw down. The king of throwing down. It's sick. So we are at a undisclosed location right now. Shout out to Sheldon and TJ Hunt for the invite. Check this out. A brand new paved course. Pretty crazy to see all of this in New York, but this is brand new. It's not really meant for drifting, but we're drifting it. Stop working on cars, huh? Dude, I live, breathe, work on these things. I want to give a major shout out to Scott's Point. This place is absolutely insane. They built this thing, finished it up about eight months ago, but they're like, we're never finished. Let me show you guys inside and how wild this place is. Dude, it's crazy how many things there is here. See, this is a cool little event hall. Yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> you gonna do it? I don't know. I'm gonna see how bad this is. <laughs> oh! You have to go on it. You have to. You'll be fine, bro. I know I will be. I'm really good at water sports, but I've never done something like this. But I am good on like wakeboarding and surfing. This just looks crazy. Like, look at how much pressure is throwing up above the lip. That is pretty strong. Dude, that's oh, it like wiped him out. Like two or three feet of water. Look at this big filmer guy right here. Big filmer guy. I'm on my way to Englishtown, New Jersey right now where the track is at to meet up with the guys and get things started. What's up, Tomas? Buenos dias, Mr. George. Buenos um, dias. Where are you? I'm just now pulling up, so. Okay, cool. That is Tomas. So pretty much uh, we got to get the pass first. Once we get the pass, we're able to go through everywhere. So that's convenient and easy. What's up, everybody? What up? Hey, how are you? How you doing? Good. What's My up, boy? buddy? How are you? Fresh white tea. What's hey. Up? What's up, boys? 
Up, We're up. here. Hey, bro. Hell yeah. It's nice What's up, and warm. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. Chill, man. How you doing? Nice good. Warm out. Good. Tyler. Lord. How you doing? What's up, Playboy? Doing good. How are you guys? Good. Let's go. Suited and booted, baby. Suited and booted. Fun fact. That Z right there is actually our Z that was bought from our wrecking yard and converted into a drift car in literally two weeks. So, you could do it too. Just call us for a shell and we'll take care of you. Guys, so that was practice run one, and it looked pretty good. Listening to what he's saying on the mics. We need mics. I feel so much more professional with mics. I tried to overnight one. Did this you? stupid house company, if this company watches this, just look at it. I ordered this and I paid for it, and they send me an email. Thank you for your order. Unfortunately, our payment processor has figured it as fraud. I overnighted it here and they canceled it. It was $180 shipping and I was willing to pay for it, but you guys lost the sale. That's crazy. That was good. That was good. Back when, do you see me go off into the dirt a little bit or no? No, I wasn't able to run over. I, as soon as I gave it forth, it goes up right into the dirt. A good amount higher than what it was already. So if you're telling me that it's still way too long, then we're in a whole different territory than we were last year. That means this is creating so much grip in the back it is. last year. It so is. we have to go like way high. It is. We got Sheldon over here. Uh, we are going to try one more gear change on this thing. Uh, get it all prepared, dialed down. Do, try something different before we go on the actual uh race we have one more warm-up lap that we're going to be able to do so that should be pretty beneficial to us hey capri sun sponsor my boy literally I've, let's this, go he's been all trying. he drinks let's he's go. been trying for like seven years dreaming actually okay Not really well. trying dreaming capri sun livery dude hey <laughs> that would be absolutely wild it's a splash show <laughs> like the heat shielding like to the point where i have to pick them up off the pedals like the pedals are so hot that my feet are like i've started like dancing i'm like i don't know where to put my feet oh, shoot. they're so hot dude and sheldon put the air blower in my pants like in my shoes and the air is so hot it's blowing in there but it still felt better yeah it is finally that time we are in the seating bracket so now we have to compete and get ourselves in the top 32 or top 16 i'm not sure this year is a little different but go ahead and see what all the work the guys are doing. Everybody is putting in the work. Every single person to make this happen. This is not a game. Formula Drift is not easy. You come here, you lose. You come here, you lose. And you come here again, and you win. This might be the one for us. Let's go ahead and keep watching and see what happens. I missed. Sometimes I missed. I missed. <laughs> That's about to dry off so oh. quick. Yeah. Saucy. It's freezing cold out if you can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, you going up there? Oh, where are you going? Cool. All right, so Sean was about to go up, but the other car, for some reason, is not working right. It looks like they went back to the pits. That's what they said. Good. I just need to drive it a little harder and, cut and, and trust it a little better, right? So now we know we got a good car. Trust it a little more. Hammer down and we know that fourth is still a little too long. So tonight we got to scrounge for a different 
You don't even gear have set? to trust it, bro. Just drive it. Different gear the, set the to keep us on the back too, because it wants like a little too much wheel speed, or wants to fall off instead of like where it's limited to wheel speed to where it's like on limiter and just wants to straighten. You know what my, I mean? My take is I want to move the I want to move the tow bar down one notch. Okay. Well, oh, wait. The oh the tow bar the dynamic tow down. Yeah. So you want more tow in or less? More tow in. More more static tow, which would also be more so when dynamic. I'm on throttle it pushes me forward. Yes. Okay. Uh, I want to. Yeah, well, I mean, we're going to have to readjust the static toe when we move the bar down, but I want to do the bar change first and see how that is. I'll leave everything and try that, yeah. Last year, we qualified every single round, so this is pretty much like our qualification to go into the seeding. Uh, last round in Atlanta, we didn't seed correctly and we didn't qualify, so kind of threw it off, but as of now, we did. So we pack everything up, watch everybody and how they are going to be drifting. And then we pull up tomorrow and rock it with no problems. Very, very optimistic, very positive. Regardless, win or lose, we still win no matter what. So let's get it, go. All right guys, so this is Ryan Literal's pro car. It is powered by the RB26, the RB Army. RB Army, baby. Uh, by Collab uh, Garage. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's S15. This thing, is wrapped by your truly Sean. Spectre Raps, baby. Spectre Raps. What's your favorite thing about Ryan's car? My favorite thing car? about Ryan's car is gonna be that it actually is still RB powered. Yeah. I'm not even an RB guy, but I give him tons of credit because no one's doing it, and he's still just staying true. They're like, you know, yep. Nissan, Nissan for life. What is your favorite thing about Ryan's car? The driver. Beautiful. I like that. What is your favorite thing about Ryan's car? I'll say the flag. The flag coming on the side, how it reflects at night. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. What's your favorite thing about Ryan's car? Broom, broom. What is your favorite thing about your car? It's kind of hard for me to pick. I love a lot of things about it. Obviously, okay. I love the engine. I love the way it looks. I love the way it drives. Yeah, it's like an accumulation of like everything I've ever wanted in a drift car. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do a little walk around the VFD and see what kind of cool cars we can find. This is my first time walking through too since it's a Saturday and we don't have to race today. Let's pull up to the same magic booth and see how it's going. Busy every single time. If you guys have not visited Sim Magic and Extreme Sim Magic Racing, you want to hit them up. Love seeing the 240s all done up. Let me go ahead and go through the car show because I just saw this thing and it looks mint. I have not seen this kit on any of them. This looks like the Veil side kit for the S15. Ooh, I know you guys saw that. This thing looks insane too. Hey, <laughs> check out this 300ZX. Deep inside, I'm a Beamer boy, so look at this M3. Clean. Nice little Honda Accord. I'm choking. I know it's a Civic. Oof, look at this. This thing is done up. Look at the top. I wonder if it really is a top secret tuned and kit probably is no one would fake it that bad got a nice little r34 gtr of course dealer plates even in connecticut that's what i'm talking about oh shopjdm.com they are probably a jdm dealer nice little scion or subaru with some gram lights check out this one now with all these s15s i want an s15 so bad they are two minutes I would say they're the best S, best looking S chassis ever made. Just a shame they didn't bring it to the US. Fun fact about these two, they actually make them left-hand drive for the Canada market. So Canada actually got the S15s in left-hand drive too, which is absolutely crazy. So the only way you can actually drive a Gallardo and it to be cool is for it to be modded like this. So let's check it out. Drop to the ground. This looks good. And with the OE wheels, yeah. looks super OEM plus, and it looks really good. And it's silver, so you know, well, if you don't know, my favorite color for cars is silver, hence the Proto. 
Took the yellow out and added the silver. Nice little tiny car. Nice FD. Got a nice little Z. Clean. Old school 300s. Oh, I think he drifts these. This, this looks like a drift car for sure. Ooh. The soft top Accord? <sighs> Only in New York. And the 180SX looks mint with this front end. And the vert. Lean. Got a nice little R33 GTR over here. Another fun fact, we actually have one. Nice little coupe. So I was right, actually. Um, it does look like it is, this is a street car, and this is his drift car. Makes so much sense now. I kind of noticed it, I was like, this has to be the same owner, uh, and that's his drift car, and that's his street car. And he has a sign on them saying exactly what they are. All right, so this car right here is a perfect example of when I talk about keep your Z simple. Keep it clean. You don't have to do no AutoZone upgrades. Just straight up drop it on a nice kit if you want. If you can't afford the kit, just go ahead and just put some lips or something or just don't put anything. But this car right here is done up very nicely. Looks really good, subtle, and all the paint is matched so nice. We need clean Zs like this in the world. You ready? Honestly, bro, like, I feel good. Like, obviously, like, this is a never-ending progression. Like, we're always changing stuff on this thing. We changed, like, Ackerman settings before this round. We changed a whole different nitrous map. We tried some different throttle blade stuff. Ended up going back on the throttle blade stuff, but the new nitrous map is, like, wicked sick. So, the car's feeling sick. I feel good. We're on the 16, so just got to push hard. And um, you know, that, that razor's edge of too hard and too, you know, too much and too little. So, just trying to dance on that razor's edge and give her help. Make it happen. You, you got it, brother. Thank you, brother. Yes. For competition, let's get the car started up. Let's go. So the power steering pump had went out uh, during practice. Tyler and Sheldon got the power steering pump changed right before. Of course, we got to throw the front bumper on, make it look nice. Let's go. So Sean is up right now for the first battle of top 32. Uh, Johnny from Ruckus Company is with me right here. We are going to cheer him on and also see what's going on. Sean Illingworth, straight line approach into that first outside zone. Now going into that second big long sweep, 180 degree. Umar Rahimi, good pressure there. Sean with that cleaner, looking a lot more solid. Umar Rahimi almost exceeding the track there. Now watch this transition to this last outside zone. Big angle from Illingworth. Umar Rahimi, a little bit short and shallow on that last outside zone. Back at the pits for a tire change. That's a sick lap. That was a great lap. Yeah, look at the, watch the white line. Look at like, oh, perfect. So perfect, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Good yeah, shit. That bro. felt good. Don't you, you want water or anything? I got a Capri Sun. I got fuel gauge. All right, so we have to call a competition timeout. I think the power steering may not be acting the way we needed to act because that was the main problem. But let's go ahead and check out and see. The belt looks like it ripped. We got a new one, we got a new one. So we are going to get it changed. Sean felt something, so he called it out. Even though he finished the run, there was obviously something wrong. We got a five minute competition timeout, which is all the time we got for this. Start it. Start it. Let's go! Let's go! Good swap, good swap. I'm glad we had a replacement. So we had a power steering issue that we didn't really record. 
Um, it was promptly fixed. Doesn't waver. Uh, nothing was wrong with the belt, but once we went to actually initiate the car and go into battle, the belt ripped, as you guys saw. But time for a lead run, which Sean is good at, so we are not worried. Oh, Sean. Rip it, rip it. Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, let me hang in. It's okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. That shit working. Our first top 16. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely great. I love it. I saw the yellow flag. Yeah, he tapped you, bro. Where did I don't know where he tapped you, but that lead was clean as let's go. Get over here. Hell yeah. There you go. Literally, like that was perfection. Yeah. So you see, you came off. Yeah. Loving the Buddha belly. Oh yeah, you're gonna do good. You're gonna luck. You're gonna do real good. Good measure. Let me, let me out, bro. Let me out. No, you gotta win. You can't get out until you win. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for the first time ever, we are in our top 16 battle. Sean is right there. His opponent next to him. We made it past top 32, and now we are trying to hit top 16. <laughs> And here we go. Bad mommy. Initiating Sean. Sideways Sean. Initiating right about the same time. Now transitioning into. Oh! Comes in hard and rotates. Oh, check out this run too here and let's dissect uh, Sean's excellent lead run here and uh, does a nice flick of the wrist. Sam Mommy's uh, lane backer. Shadow Wine seems to be the uh, trend for his chase run here as uh, Illingworth gets into our zone two and filling it completely well. Not sure what back Mommy was doing there. He saw him grab some handbrake at live and it was just super shallow there. Like you said, almost impeding on the lead run. Just about straightens out there. And uh, Illingworth just having a really great lead run there. We can take a look from the Air Force eye in the sky here as they come around into outer zone two. Good smooth transition. And Ted Magami, you might be able to see the handbrake pull there. I think he was trying to get into it more outside. You can see him just struggling. Once you get into that kind of zone, it's really hard to recover from it. One more time. They just called it one more time. That was crazy. I mean, we thought so. Yes, Sean spun out, but the second one literally, I mean, they didn't even chase. So, either gonna run it one more time, and we got one more chance. Well, both of them do. But you already know, we got one more chance. Hey, guide him in. He was on throttle forever. Don't change anything, He never left on throttle. Like, ever. I was like, off, 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 off. Hit him. Way. That's what he told me. Sam personally himself just Let's told me. Go. We're going to the slow. When Sean bumped him. The shims. I don't know what the shims do on his particular setup, but oh, he said knock the shims out. So. I mean, it's not the way. Not the way we want to win. He's making it sound like. He's, huh? He's making it sound like he's not gonna do anything. But I don't know. Good. Come on. Huh? You're done? What happened? That's already hit me. The sims fall off my engine. Hey, so what happened to the motor? Like, I what it what? Uh, it went in, so we didn't want to risk it. No way. I was, I got to change it and start misfiring. Uh, yeah, I was wondering why you're so shallow. I was like, that's not normal. So. I gotta pull that next Well, at least you kind of Oh, yeah, not nothing. You just have to fuck up. I mean, and you do the motor works, so that's good. You know, you don't have to pace all this down. I'm pissed. I want to battle you. So good. But at least you're fucking. 
hurt it, hurt it. You know, I didn't hurt it. You'd be yeah. more pissed if you had a window in your box. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's not how we wanted to win, but it's okay. I mean, because I mean we're all boys. Like, you guys, we, you guys all have to win. You guys yeah, win. dude. The, I think the only tough thing is going to be is the the next one we're battling. Goes initiates. Goes hard into that outside zone. So Sean Illingworth need to take a look at that. He hung it out to dry. As we initiate. No power steering, it gets stuck in lock. I'm like out to the dirt, I'm like, I'm gonna hit a wall, so I butt kick, and it's like, uh, comes back around, starts getting looser throughout it, then in the bat zone again, loose power steering. Come back into the pitch, and I'm like, okay, it's like kind of there. On my lead again, I'm like, cool, head three, cool, we have power steering. Fucking click the OZ2, nothing. I'm like, on the edge, I'm like, Oh! <laughs> oh my God! So I'm like, oh, that foot break. I'm like, if it unwinds, I'm done, dude. I can't. So I was like, I feel like I was on the edge. Was I like right on the edge on the OZ2 right now? Dude, I was holding for dear life. All right, so it is time to clean up. We are finishing up Formula Drift. Well, since we are not racing today, we're taking flights. We're going. Let's have that chicken. Mmm. Which flight are we trying to really yeah. I'm gonna go pineapple. Pineapple? Go right All right, let's get it. Right. Pineapple, pineapple. I mean, it's bad luck, you know that. It is. If there's one advice you can give to anyone starting FP, what would it be? Stay positive, because it's gonna be negative. One person going around. You can say that again. What about you? Don't give up. It's tough, but if you keep persevering, you'll get through it. You might also keep persevering and just knock it through. That's okay. <laughs> Nico, say something positive about FD. Persistence. Keep their head in the game. Sean, say something positive or advice-wise about FD. Don't drive in the heat. <laughs> I think we should do night rounds, and you should return sense it's to Formula Drift. That's in. Every other racing division does night rounds when it's hot, so their drivers oh, that's are okay. genius. No, night rounds of FD, night round, full night round. Like you start driving at seven or eight. That would be. And then it goes to like one so or two in the morning. Let's go. About to have a nice meal. I'll be a fucking loose caboose. Ooh. Since I am in New York and before I head home, I'm going to go stop by a few shops that I've always wanted to see. Uh, some of them are customers like Driven Motorsports, so I wanted to go stop by and put a face to the name of the company. Yeah, bro, I don't think yeah, that's supposed to happen. All right, so I just got to Driven Motorsports. This place is looking absolutely stunning. The owner said that they've only been open for three years. And he's about to explain to us what exactly they do over here and how they do their builds. So I've been working on Nissan's and Infiniti since I was like 19. I'm, uh -huh. I'm 36 now. Uh -huh. So I suck at math. I'm a horrible Asian, but do the math. Anyways, we're really known for our Nissan's and Infinities. Uh, we're no strangers to VQs and VRs. Uh, we manufacture all our own turbo kits for the VQ in-house, whether top mount, mid mount. This is our mid mount version. Yeah. But uh, this right here is our pride and joy. Uh, we call this car dim sum just because <laughs> it's studs. Um, so this is our stage five engine. Uh -huh. It's a uh, billet crank, billet girdle, uh, uh, steel rod car. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 264 millimeter turbo kit from uh, ETS. The last time we had it on a dyno, it made 1497 to the time. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and this is still on stock ECU, by the way. That's crazy. Stock ECU, for, um, stock ECU for the trans and the engine. Wow, look at yeah. this. I've actually never seen that fuel rail run through the middle over there. Yeah, so this is uh because these car these engines require such a lot such so much fuel, uh -huh. you can't have it on all the time. So yeah. what we do is we run a secondary rail uh, with secondary injectors and then we just use the primaries when we're putting around town. You know, just That's idling awesome. or just driving around. Yeah, yeah, just driving around yeah. for like shows. You yeah. take them to car shows and stuff too uh, and the races. I tried it, but we're so yeah, so busy, busy here. Totally. I, I never get to leave. Totally. But everybody, you know. That's awesome, man. Um, yeah, this is my pride and joy. I love this car. I've seen every iteration of it, and this is the final form for now. Uh, we do plan on taking it out this season, hopefully. We'll yeah. Some races. Any major races you've been to? Uh, yet? So we sponsor Race Motive. Okay. On cool. uh, Pocono. Okay. We were supposed to make it uh, back in May. We never we never got to make it because we're just so damn busy. Mm -hmm. You know. Hopefully, we, that. hopefully we make it to at least one. Yeah, literally one almost after 10 years is now this past three years I've yeah. been able to like go to events exactly. and actually be a part of them and vlog it. Yeah. 
Oh. Awesome, man. Yeah, it looks really good. She's, I like the carbon pillars, absolutely. too. So the whole nose is carbon, the hood's carbon, the whole rear's carbon. This is cool. That's yeah, a really cool. cool. Uh, we had it all painted. This is all carbon. Wow. Uh, it has our full four-inch titanium exhaust that we manufacture in-house. And when so, I, go ahead. You guys started titanium for since the beginning. That was like yeah. So, well, it's funny since when we opened this place, we weren't really planning on doing fab. Um, I've always dabbled with fab. Mm -hmm. I always, you know, I've always been interested in welding, and it wasn't until we got here that I really started welding. Kind of exploded into what it is now. Yeah. You know, like. We're fairly known for our, our, you know, our titanium work and our exotic alloy work. A lot of people like it, the colors. I love it. It looks great. Exactly. Right when I saw yeah. it, I was like, oh, I got to. And then when I hopped on uh, yeah. Instagram and said no DM, so I was like, oh, I hope he responds back. Oh, and no, that's just for, you know, you get clients. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, how much is this? And we can't keep track of it. Oh, them. I feel you it, know, bro. You it know just exactly keeps going. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome, bro. So it this is. Next car I want to show you. This is actually Izzy's car that you mentioned. Yeah, you mentioned. Right? This is our top mount turbo kit. Um, this is our first one that we produced for the VQ 37 HR. Okay. He wanted to go nuts. He said, hey, I want titanium on top. Um, so this is in plain form. This is a uh, G35 900, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, I love the G series turbo. They're great. Uh, great spool, great power band. Uh, this is still a stock clock, by the way. Wow. Uh, this car laid down on a 16 PSI of me. 680 horsepower in the tire and like 530 torque. I so believe. just top mount turbo, stock block. Correct. Wow. Just a, a top mount turbo fueling. Uh, we threw the Soho manifold on there. I love the Soho guys. Yeah. They always do quality yeah, work too. Great, man. Yeah. We have another car that's not here. We have a bunch of. Car I wish. I wish we had more people come down. We have so many built cars with our turbo kits on them. Yeah. Rolling around out there. Yeah. Um, it has our catch can on it. That's awesome. But that's yeah. it's pretty simple. Beautiful. This, he drives his, he dailies this car actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. R8 front end on that? No, no, no. no, no. That's oh, not... I was tripping out. That was actually going to look good. Okay. So this is a good friend of mine's car. He did a full restoration on it. The Datsun? Um, yeah. It's the original engine. He punched it out to a, from a L28 to an L30. Mm -hmm. um, he brought it to me to do all the fab work. So. Now it's just, it's up for tuning now. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Dude, you guys should come to ZCon this uh, this September. It's in Tampa. Okay. Dude, this is clean. Thanks, See, this is the one thing I didn't dibble and dabble in is Dodson's because I knew right when I did, it would just take so much yeah, time. Yeah, he work. put so much time. He has two of these actually. He's wow. He's on another one right now. He's pretty nuts. Yeah, this looks great. I like it's the purple. Little, they're a little dusty. Yeah, same, yeah. But, that's yeah. all I did. So this so. is one of our show cars. It's still in rough shape. It has to be finished, uh, but it's a custom body, wide body kit. Uh, so this is another top mount turbo kit where we retrofitted a an AMS yeah. GTR manifold onto the B, uh, BQ. Wow! Did you guys build this? Is oh, that's theirs that's right there on top. AMS. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just slightly modified this end tank. Um, but that's it. Other than that, you can't really tell that it's been modified. Wow, wow. I'm loving it. Yeah. What do you think this is going to push? Um, After it's broken in, it should make a healthy, I would say, at least 700. Beautiful. The owner's not, you know, the owner of the car is not really into, oh, I want to make big power. Yeah. But he wants enough. Get to have some fun. Yeah. yeah, and get a kick out of it. Absolutely. Beautiful work, bro. This is amazing. Yeah, but if you want it done right, it's yeah, going to take you know, some time. Get the real people back in. Hey, listen, if you want this, it takes time. Yep. It takes craftsmanship and... You know, it's yeah. it's hard to find nowadays. Yeah, definitely. This is absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you, Josh. I appreciate you so much, thank man. You, man. Your you, shop guys. is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we have uh, been supplying here and there, and we hope to keep working with you guys as well. Right when I was leaving Driven Motorsports, Josh was like, did you have any good pizza? And I was like, no, not this time around because it was super busy. So I'm going to stop by that place right there and... Uh, See if it's fire. It looks like it is. We had any time to really do anything super fun. I mean, it all looks very fun when we're shooting and showing you guys everything. But there's a lot of running around. I'm really all burnt because uh, it was hot. It was 100 degrees almost every day and humid. But let's go ahead and get a slice of pizza before we head back home. Ooh, this is so amazing. If you could only taste this. You wouldn't eat any other pizza. Love it.